Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the Week in Review for the Forex Currencies on 29 January at 4 p.m. Central Time. Let's start off with the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, just want to start off as far as the Week in Review had significant consolidation among all of the currency. And for this week, it was a drawdown week uh, for uh, the majority of all the currencies around the world. There's some significant consolidation. You can see this with the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. As we look, we... Uh, uh, did not take a trade here. There were three already in a row there. We did not, we waited for uh, a retracement. And then on this day, we went ahead and went long with the loss. I put the stop here at the belly of the dragon. Came back down, went short with another loss here and no further trade for the rest of the week. So two losses on Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. Same thing pretty much all throughout the all the currencies, not just the Aussie pairs, but all the rest of them. There was significant consolidation uh, week among all of them and so we went we did not go short on this particular entry here you did go long here with a significant loss and another short here with another loss here so two losses on Aussie dollar Swiss franc Aussie dollar Japanese yen same thing with the consolidation across the board Sunday no trade red Akinashi initial short here with a loss did not trade here another short with another loss here so two losses on Aussie dollar Japanese yen Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar uh, uh, just tracking this continuous downward trend even throughout the consolidation uh, but no trade so we waited for a retracement there was no retracement until and so we don't enter in this particular currency as a dollar US dollar again significant consolidation no trade on Sunday short here with a loss another short here with a loss so two losses on as a dollar US gain dollar Swiss franc had initial short here on Monday a loss then another short with a second order here short was here there so two losses and two orders on the second trade Canadian dollar Japanese yen again more consolidation pretty pretty much a bad trade week for all of the currencies consolidating this week a lot of uncertainty out there in terms of global markets and the currencies with the new inauguration and the new budget proposal for four trillion dollars of additional debt to the US currency markets right now are trying to find what the current evaluations are and so so they're waiting for more information on the economic news of the other country. So we had an initial trade here with loss, another two trades here with another loss here for Canadian dollar Japanese yen. Two trades, second trade, two orders, the loss. Swiss franc Japanese yen, one of the only winners in the end here at this point. So initial short here with a loss and then a one, two, three punch out with here again at the Heikinashi Z3. So it was a, it was a good trade for over Overall, for a gainer for Swiss franc Japanese yen. Your Aussie dollar, again, more consolidation. On Monday, had initial trade with a loss, had to short with a loss, then with another long for loss. So three losses on Euro Aussie dollar. Euro Canadian dollar, more chop. On Monday, had an initial order go long with a loss, and then uh, one order here with a loss on this. Uh, the body of the high Kanesha was not above the RL10. Euro Swiss franc, this is three orders here. Here, Sunday hit our, our stop at the low here for a loss. It would have been a one, two, three punch out. Then went short for another loss here on there. So one order, two order, or two two losses for Euro Swiss franc. Euro British pound. Thought we would get some a break here with uh, one of the currencies in the direction. But again, all of the currencies are kind of in a consolidation mode of uncertainty. So we had Euro British pound, initial order, second order, and then was out at the height there for loss on both orders. A scratch on the first and a loss on the second. Euro Japanese yen again we had three orders here so uh, three longs here didn't take it waited for retracement no order on the short and then a nice gain on the last day and Thursday one of the only gains for the year for the entire currency set. Euro Japanese yen Friday nice close out. Euro Norwegian Krone uh, had uh, no trade here we had a one two three punch out uh, one of the 
again one of the other good gainers for the week and no further trades for the rest of the week here on the zealand dollar we had a one order here price i placed my stop here at since this was sort of a tight hammer i placed my stop here and i got a gain for a one two three punch out and no further trade for the rest of the week euro swedish krona had an initial order here for a loss placed a long order here and another long order here overall gain for the two orders no further trade for the euro us dollar initial short here for a loss another short here for a loss two orders for a loss on the euro us dollar and i would like to add uh it was an overall loss for for both orders so just about a scratch for a euro swedish crown here's pound aussie dollar uh again a lot of consolidation going on here initial long order here with a little less than a scratch then a long order another long order with the loss here at the base of this candle here for a loss on those two orders overall loss for british pound Aussie dollar british pound canadian dollar had an initial order here for a one two three punch out uh, again one of the nice gains for for the week british pound swiss franc an order here initial order here but this was red here but i did take it um afterwards after the candle finally printed for a loss and because it came back and and stopped me out here at the belly of the dragon and then for close of the week uh initial order here for a long for another loss look at emerging dra dragon here going from summer fall to green first pound japanese yen for sunday we had initial long here for a loss here we had another order and i did place it at the base of this or i would have had a one two three punch out which would have been nice but it didn't happen that way but i placed my stop here at the 30 moon day average which is a low of that first pound new zealand dollar this was an initial short for a one two three punch out and then this was a long for a one and then this was actually red when it prints so i got out of this trade but if you would have stayed in it for two orders on this doji dojis are kind of questionable so and because of the way the week was going i just didn't trade this but if you were in it for two orders and you had your stop down here you would have been stopped out first pound us dollar initial long here for a loss another short for a loss and no further trade for the rest of the week the good thing about it is is that once the haikanashi catches up to what the momentum is doing even if it is in consolidation at this point it'll change color and it will keep you out of these kind of whipsaw trade for the most part but we do see an emerging dragon here and so it'd be interesting to see on sunday or monday morning where this candle is going if it continues to go to the downside or to the upside the zealand canadian dollar didn't wait for a retracement no trade no trade i can actually below there so no trade for new zealand canadian dollar zealand swiss franc sunday we had a one two three punch out i had my stop here at the rl10 if you had it at the base of the shooting star here you would have been stopped out this was too close to me to the same indicator there so i want one indicator below and you did get a one two three punch out this here was a short for a loss and overall it was a gain for new zealand swiss franc but not much of one zealand japanese yen again more consolidation uh the bloodbath continued here we got a long here with a loss another long here with another loss and no further trade for the rest of the week ceiling dollar same thing again long here for a loss another long here i did not take this long it was below the rl10 so after this closed out the trade i think i did initially because the the haikanashi body was above the rl10 and then it was below after the print so after the print if i see uh, a wrong setup then i will automatically close out the trade this came back and if you would have stayed in this would have been a major loss us dollar canadian dollar again more back and forth uh, monday we're in for a long for a loss then a one two and out for a loss with the stop either here at the base of the candle or here at the rl10 us dollar swiss franc initial long here for a loss and then a one two three punch out if you kept your stops close to like say the rl10 you would have been out here i didn't i kept my stop here then when i was in this one i kept it at the base of this one right so kind of one one indicator away from the hump of the dragon to this still was a one two punch out gain for the week us dollar japanese yen uh, one of the only gains for the, the rest of the week so one two three beautiful one two three punch out and i did have my target here at the haikanashi z3 us dollar norwegian krone again very choppy we had a, a one loss two loss for the rest of the week so two losses on norwegian us dollar norwegian krone us dollar swedish krona beautiful uh one two three punch out so once we had that that was 
a nice nice uh, gain and when you're talking about the Norwegian Krona or the Swedish Krona it's kind of tied to oil in that case too as well so we'll see see what happens with the, these two currency pairs. US dollar South African Rand interesting again consolidation major consolidation during this week Monday for a loss another loss here for US dollar South African. Gold was also I'm sorry silver was also consolidating at this point until the last day to where it just shot up like a rocket. So went up here there was initial short here we had for a loss another short here for another loss took this gain this this trade would have been a substantial gain would have got it all back at that that particular point. Hakanashi was above the RL10 greater price action was above the RL10. Gold did not shoot up as much as silver did. Interesting trade here would have had a one two and out for a loss with two orders and no further trade for the rest of the week for gold. South African Rand Japanese Yen again more consolidation it's just all of the currencies were in consolidation I haven't seen anything like this so what you do uh, have to be very careful in your trades make sure you stick to the rules and your probabilities initial short here for a loss and no further trade for the rest of the week so it did keep us out as far as the Heikinashi and momentum with what was going on in terms of consolidation for the week well folks not a very good week for the forex currencies so for the overall gains there was probably a 30 percent loss for all the month gains for the three weeks the past three weeks and so this is important when you're adhering to one system or another you might think about hey i need to change systems because it just isn't working this week but these drawdowns are inevitable for a lot of the systems tradings and you just have to stick to the system that you're you're working we are currently conducting a forex boot camp and a forex intermediate course if you're interested click on the link below and remember ruthless risk management have a great trading week and i'll see you on sunday happy trading everyone well if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button and if you want more information on tc2000 i have an affiliate link below if you open up a tc2000 account you will receive a 25 dollar discount using that link thank you for your time